Hey guys, I added a new feature to the Low Poly Game Kit, and this is Shooting with a Pistol. It is a collectible item, which has a gun script attached. The item type is Weapon, and you can define the shoot force, the damage per hit when you hit an enemy, or the amount of ammo. Let's increase the shoot force a bit, like 50, and then we start the game and see it in action. Ok, here's the player, I'm walking around, and then I collect the pistol. And once I picked it up, you see that the sheep is fleeing, because it reacts when the player carries a weapon. And when I left click now, I'm shooting, and then I can collect the food if I hit a sheep. And when the player is carrying the gun, it is displayed in the hut, in the upper left hand corner, and also the amount of ammo that is left. The player is rotating towards the hit point, and it's a bit unfair in this level, but you have the choice you can configure it, and when I drop the weapon, you see it is removed from the heart. Ok, now let's see, I have 4 bullets left, and I can also hit this enemy. Ok, and now I don't have any bullets left, so I have to pick up a different weapon, which is quite hard in this situation and I'm about to lose. Ok, it's over, died by lava, and now you can play again or quit. Ok, let me show you how to implement the shooting logic like that. Here is the pistol, a prefab, a very simple one. And it has an empty game object attached, which is called spawn pos, which is the spawn position for the bullets. It is pointing in that forward direction, but we are going to rotate it in the direction of the hit point when the user left clicks and hits the environment with the mouse cursor. And then we are going to instantiate a bullet game object based on this prefab and assign a velocity to the rigid body of the bullet. Ok, so let's have a look at the C-Sharp script, so you can see how to implement this weapon logic. It's derived from inventory item base, so I can pick it up and it can be put to the inventory. Then it has a bullet prefab that is instantiated when I'm shooting, and here are the variables for the shoot force and the damage per hit. Both public, so that I can set it in the editor, and also the audio clip for the shot and the amount of ammo. In the start method, I get the audio source and the spawn position for the bullet, then I assign the shot audio clip. And then there is a method on action, which is called for the item when the player is carrying it and the user is clicking the left mouse button. And in this case, I'm storing the hit point and I also set a trigger, which is triggering the pistol fire animation of the player. This is a trigger that is defined in the player's animator and this animator is passed as parameter to the on action method. Ok, and here we have the fire bullet method. This is called by the player controller when he carries a gun. First I check if I have enough ammo left, then I'm decreasing the ammo by 1, play the audio source, and check here the look rotation, which is basically the direction from the bullet spawn pos to the position where the mouse cursor is hitting, and then I assign this rotation to the bullet spawn pos transform, which defines the direction of the bullet. The bullet transform is instantiated then by the bullet prefab, the bullet has a bullet script assigned with a variable damage per hit that I assign here and it also has a rigid body for that I can set the velocity and I set this to the bullet spawn pos forward direction and multiply it by the force, that's it. Ok guys, you can get the game kit from this page on the asset store. The link is added to the description below, if you have any questions then add these to the comments. So guys if you like the new feature and my channel then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on my social media on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, support me by being my patron, this would be great. At the moment I'm working on a crafting system for the game kit, if you need other features then let me know. See you soon on JNM.